Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to a special video about the well beloved tape mod. If you're not already familiar with the tape mod, the Tempest tape mod was popularized through his YouTube video posted back on the 27th of June. This simple and effective modification involves tape being stuck evenly onto the back of the PCB. Cover as much surface as you can, make some cutouts so you can plug in cables, and voila! It has an effect of making the pitch of pretty much any keyboard lower and more premium sounding. This presumably works by filtering the sound or reflecting it. So what is this video? Well, in trying to do the mod myself during lockdown, I fiddled with six tapes made of different materials, which I have found to produce some very interesting insights. It's also me experimenting with stickier adhesives so you don't have to risk damaging your PCB. Now, as always, make sure to use non-conducting tape to avoid shorting your PCB. So let's go over what tapes I'm going to be using today. These tapes are masking tape or painter's tape, sticky tape, duct tape, electrical tape, and cloth tape, or also sometimes known as gaffer's tape. Um, I've also managed to stumble on some PE foam tape, so we'll see how that goes. The keyboard I'm going to be using today is the Drop Alt, a relatively common board, for better or worse, and because I've only just received some of my new boards. I'm going to be starting with one layer, and top out at three, um, for most of them, because beyond three layers, the effect becomes marginally more effective. And remember that no tape is better than another. Depending on your switch, your case, keycaps and other factors, the sound's going to differ. And you'll probably need to adjust it to your own preference. I will include a summary at the end along with some of my recommended combinations. Let's go! So first up we've got painter's tape or um, masking tape. Um, this is the OG. This is what was recommended by YouTubers early on because it's easy to apply and peel off without any residue and it's also quite affordable. It's usually got some crepe paper backing and easily terrible using your hands. Next we've got packing tape or sticky tape, um, it's very common, almost everyone has this, however trying to get some decent quality ones is important to avoiding residue. Now it's made of plastic, usually polypropylene, and is more rigid than other tapes. It also produces helps reduce some deeper sounds. Um, electrical tape. So this is made of PVC plastic. It is stretchable, soft, not super sticky, and make sure you get the insulated kind.
Next we've got gaffer's tape or cloth tape. Um, it's a heavy cotton tape and the big difference between this and duct tape is that it doesn't leave any adhesion residue. Um, duct tape or usually PE coated cloth um, it's really a blend of fabric and plastic um, it's got a lower melting point usually it's not recommended because it does have super high bondage and does leave residue on your PCB Um, PFO tape, this is just something that I thought looked interesting, probably don't get this one actually, um, the results actually won't be that great. So let's go over the results and findings. Masking tape does really well. Um, it deepens the sound, brings out a light creaminess and a little bit of hollowness reduction, but the overall sound signature is still quite clacky. Electrical tape perhaps has the most bouncy sounds. It's clean, the sound is clean, it marbles it slightly, and it doesn't reduce the high end as much though, especially when topping out. Now regular tape. Regular tape deepens the sound without changing the original sound signature as much. I find it to be deeper than masking tape probably due to because first of all it's plastic over paper and it also doesn't warm or round off the sounds as much um, like masking tape. Cloth tape, gaffer's tape, it shortens the, the sound wave quite a lot. It sharpens it, it gives you that sort of tack 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 sort of sound and it's also a bit flat and not super deep. Now duct tape performs pretty similarly to regular tape, I would say it's maybe even deeper but there is some resonance um, when using duct tape, probably because it's more flexible plastic. I personally don't see a reason to use this tape at all over just simply more layers of regular tape. Um, my favorite tip for sure are regular sticky tape because it does the best in deepening the sound. Um, adding a few layers of masking tape or gaffer's tape will help to give it that premium creaminess or rounding off of the sound that you don't get from um, cheaper boards. And then I personally also like electrical tape because it gives it a bit of marbling.
Um, and that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have all learned something interesting um, from the video. Hopefully found the tape that you like. But as always, if you really want to experiment it, it's a good idea to, to buy some yourself um, because the difference in person is for sure greater than it is on video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, giving it a like, and feel free to leave in the comments below what was your favorite combo or what you're planning on trying next. See you guys soon.